Live from a sweet, sweet edge of the tree spooged Austin, we, where we hear teenagers say, oh, so you did get one. It's going to be a great night. Now, here's everyone's favorite common law wives, your hosts, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young! Do accurate. Oh, do accurate. Because we have definitely have been married for more than seven years, even without a government sanctioned certificate. Nope. We've been together for a long time, and now the government says it's official. Yeah. Or at least an officiator will when one of us dies. Yep. You're going to execute my will. Yeah. Why, why am I fighting my dad with that? I don't know. Uh, uh, this uh, is an awkward place to ask. But, uh, <laughs> okay, would you, uh, would you uh, think uh, about uh, executing my will, though? Excuse me. I, I, I just rang the doorbell. I don't know why that music yeah, played. Yeah. I'm a lawyer. Uh huh. And uh, as you know, yeah. your common law husband, yes. Ryan Brushwood, of recently passed away. We all have been very sad. Okay. <laughs> very, very sad. Okay. Well, I mean, not that it's any of Very my business. Very sad. But like on a scale of one to ten. <gasps> one to five, maybe. How sad? Yeah. Oh. Very sad. <laughs> on a scale of sad. one. Uh, of zero to very one. Very sad. Which one would be very sad? <laughs> Five or one? <laughs> I mean, fifteen. Okay, got very oh my sad. goodness. So sad. Okay, listen. Uh, I have some news about his holdings and his estate. What was he holding? <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> like a brick of hash? <laughs> As I tell you, the guy's will, on second. Is he moving I have, weight? I have to. He ask, was holding. <laughs> per his will, I have to ask yeah. if you're a cop. <laughs> Am I a cop? Yeah. Concerned other person, <laughs> yeah. All right, but well, as for a police officer, no. Don't worry, everything's clean. Yeah. And then I flash this stranger a gun <laughs> that I have in my pocket. <laughs> um, I'm I'm looking at this will here, and I'm I'm realizing that uh, that uh, this conversation's over. So you would like me to be a cop? Uh, yeah, I was. Getting... I'm a, I'm Officer Jones. <laughs> Get out on the ground! No. I'm, I'm the Officer Jones of your nightmares, <laughs> maggot! You better knock it off! Give me one! <laughs> Give me one again! Wait, should I be a cop or not a cop? I don't know. You First I said I wasn't a cop, and you said it was over, and then I thought I would be a cop, and now, yeah. now you want me to be someone else. <laughs> you started yelling at the rotting corpse of your comedy partner. I don't know what it's happening! <laughs> you said I should be a cop, and that I shouldn't be a cop. What I was Officer Jones. Talking? I was doing it for you. <laughs> I said I was very sad. Okay. <laughs> what was he holding? <laughs> I mean, Jesus, I'm holding my own dick in the breeze with this conversation. <laughs> he was holding back the show, unfortunately. Bryce, do we have a first story? <laughs> Our first topic. Work with kids and animals. Oh, boy. Yeah, man. That's an old Hollywood adage. They say never pay the top line more than the budget. And never give Kim Basinger a car and never work with kids or animals. That's right. Yeah. Old Hollywood lore. <laughs> oh, at any rate, I'm working with Kim Basinger. <laughs> <laughs> She's driving like crazy. You're like, who gave this bitch a car? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, we, we did our uh, Christmas uh, card. And, and, and this year, I thought we, I, I was smart. I was like, we're going to keep it super sm uh, simple. I'm not going to evolve nothing. Yeah. We're just, just going to bake a thing and then, and then say, hooray. So, Christmas. everyone, where can people see this? Uh, 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 YouTube.com slash uh, BBOTR. Brian Brushwood on the road. And, and uh, uh, this is something that you have now done for how many years? Ten years. Ten years. Ten years, yeah. So, instead of doing a, a, a Christmas card that you have to send to an increasingly large amount of friends, both right. physical and digital, Right. You make a, a holiday card, you send it out to everybody that's on their mailing list, you text right. it to your friends and family, 
and that is that is the way that you are expressing your Christmas cheer to everybody. Correct. And uh, in, in deep in my heart, I understand, like, look, at the end of the day, all anybody wants to see is like, oh, those girls are getting bigger and you're getting older and it yeah. definitely is Christmas. Uh, and, and so I, I, I try to keep it simple. Uh, we've run into problems with uh, licensed music and, and annoying neighbors and all of that stuff. Uh, and, and so this year it's like, we're going to play a Mike TV joint. It's going to be great. Yeah. Uh, uh, my daughter's Certainly, they'll be able to just hang out and watch as yep. mom mixes things or whatever. Uh, let's involve the dog. And then and suddenly I realize, like, I'm doing the, the one no-no that you must not do, which is trying to produce with kids and animals on, on the same thing. And the way that you've done this in the past is to have a bunch of GoPros and you are shooting everything and doing it stop motion, right? Correct. Correct. And, 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 and we get away with most of it. Up until the stuff goes in the oven, and then we're just sitting and waiting, and then it comes out. But we, at this point, it's been like an hour and a half, and the kids are all getting fussy and all that stuff. Yeah. So it's like, uh, you know what? I'll come up with an ending. Get out of here. Go on. Yeah. yeah. Get ye be gone. Um, and so... <laughs> And so what we figure out is like, uh, and, and for those who are only listening to this, uh, uh, what was baked was a, some kind of, uh, cake version of the word joy. Correct. Uh, the message being, let's have more joy in 2022. In 2022. And then we yeah. also got to show off our dog joy. Right. Yeah. And, and so, uh, uh, we we set everything up, uh, <laughs> and uh, and what we want to do is create uh, for the first time ever to break the stop motion animation style of things, and instead just full on show the way Joy behaves yeah. when she thinks nobody's looking. Yeah. So we have to essentially create a scenario where the dog does the one thing that she's absolutely forbidden from doing. Yes. Which is eating food off of. So everything that island. you've done is to train this legit insane puppy. She's a legit insane puppy. Like to not do this. To not do this. Except. Except now we want her to do now it. You're, you know, you're explicitly <laughs> trying cue. to produce her on cue. On cue, on camera. Yeah. Right. Um, worked out all right. How'd you do it? Uh, Reveal the Hollywood secrets. The secret is uh, you put a treat on the thing she's not supposed to eat. <laughs> and, and you and your wife <laughs> capture her unable to resist herself from just eating all of the things. It looked amazing. Like, like if, if, you watch, if you watch the video, it legit looks like everyone just walked away and then the dog came moseying yeah. in and, no, and, def and snarfed. Definitely off camera, uh, uh, Bonnie and I, I'm, I'm like, I swear to God, both of us, no noise. Be quiet. Be quiet. And then we did it, and it worked. How long did it take for the uh, to joy to get to joy? Uh, once you set it up, like four minutes, I think. Wow, that's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. No, it turns out that reversing years of training goes very pretty quickly. fast. Breaks yeah. down very quickly. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. But it's good, and it's up on YouTube. Go check it out. Price next topic. Our next topic. The world's greatest fried chicken. Uh, Brad, I think this is this is a story for you. You were yep. you were out for the holiday season. Yes, I'm going to come up. Uh -oh. Come on up. Come on there. up, man. Okay. Uh, Brett's Brett's oh, moseying. Brad He's making his way up. He's having a good time. He's going to tell us some Christmas. Oh. Story. Oh, oh lawsuit. Hey, everybody. Hey, man. What's what, what's popping? We missed you last week. Yes, I was busy driving to and from uh, Huntsville, Alabama. Jesus. Christmas with the family. Okay. Uh, good time. Very good time was had. It's uh, with EK's parents. The wonderful, lovely, lovely, lovely people. Very quiet. What very is uh, introverted? Yeah. What what is what is popping in in Huntsville? Uh, the, uh, the the Rocket City Trash Pandas uh, are are my favorite baseball team. That is a, that, that is a minor league baseball team. Minor league baseball team. Yep. Uh, uh, not much else. That's really, that's pretty much it. The Rocket City it. Trash Pandas, yeah. and, the, and and the Space Center, uh, okay. the Rocket and Space Center. Uh, uh, so so Space Camp. And Space Camp, and yeah, Space which Camp. is there too. Yeah. 
We how long? Uh, how long were you there? Uh, five, six days. Five long, days. long, long yeah. trip. But it, it, yeah, two days up, two days back. Come oh, on. oh, wait. Oh, so you were so so it was like a night in a hotel on either side of the trip. Yes. Yeah. Well, Airbnb. Yeah. Uh, wow. uh, oh, the, the one coming back was great because it totally wasn't haunted in Vicksburg, Pardon? Excuse me. Excuse me. Please not, go over that again. It was not haunted. Yeah. That it's, was, that's. An unusual thing. To that that is yeah. what it said in the listing. It was like comfortable that it will beds. be haunted. Yeah, comfortable beds, uh, a nice air conditioning, great views of the Mississippi River. Not haunted. Oh, I thought that it was listed as very haunted. And then when you were not haunted, you were like <laughs> one star. This shit sucks. No, it was it was in the line and it said not haunted. And of course, I read it as totally not haunted. What's said okay i'm gonna go ahead and book that room uh, so it, it wasn't haunted at, okay before we get to the reveal like sure. like at what point does the topic come up with ek about how haunted because like if we were gonna go do a convention in kentucky or whatever right. yeah we had to stop at a hotel yeah at no point would it occur to me to say to justin hey uh just on on a scale of one to ten how haunted is this ramada yeah, you're right. You'd probably never say that. That's right. right. Okay, right. so so uh, it was pretty early in the process. <laughs> yeah, because I was looking at going. Okay, we were you know planning on our way back. I'm not doing like weeks in advance. It's we're in Huntsville, and I'm like, I guess we should pick a place to go back. And I look of where the chicken fried chicken place was, which we'll get to, uh, and said, what's, what's a good Airbnb right by there? Well, Vicksburg, Mississippi was it. And that was the place. And as I look through, she's sitting, reading quietly next to me. And I go, this place is not haunted. And she's like, what? And I go, look, it's got all these things and it's not haunted. And she goes, we're booking that. Right. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. We're totally booking it. So, so is the, is the hope that it's an admission of haunting in yes. disguise. Yes. Okay. Because we're not scared. We, yeah. A, as the song says, we ain't afraid of no ghosts. Yeah. That's a good one. You should use that. Yeah. Use, you just want to be use busted. That. Yes. Yeah. Busted. Uh, and busted. and I'll busted. use the mu busted. music too. I want a new busted. drug. So because yeah. busting makes you feel good. It does make me feel good. Yeah. Really uh, where, 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 where'd you get this chicken? Uh, so uh, uh, if. If anyone is a fan of Alton Brown, he did a short series where he rode a motorcycle up the the delta of the uh, the or up the Mississippi River, uh, uh, taking the Natchez Trace. He stopped in this one little town called. Can we Lerner. pause right there? Yes. Oh, I mean, like, come on! How lazy are these pitches that the that the Food Network people get to do? Right. I I am very jealous. I would do that. Trip. Like, I mean, I'm I'm not saying they don't deserve it. Obviously, they got sure. names. They draw the numbers. Sure. But it's like if Alton Brown's like, candy corn? Like, they're like, candy corn week is here on yes. the Food Network. That's I'm almost right. certain that the way it goes is that somebody walks into the room and and they're a uh, Baba Odenkirk lookalike. Sure. And they pull off their hat and they take off the glasses. They squeeze the top of their nose, the yeah. bridge of their nose. And they're like, listen, it's crazy, but it just imagine crazy. if... Alton Brown, and then they say, we'll take it. Yeah, we'll yeah. take it. Yeah. Uh, all right, here, r r real quick side jack, and we're going to get back to the chicken. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this story, but I had heard this for the first time today on Twitter, and apparently it was confirmed by the man himself is true. James Cameron. Yeah. Yes. Pitching aliens. Yeah. He walks into a room. Oh, so do you know the writes, story? No. This is a he, great story. He writes alien on the board and then just writes an S behind it and then he goes wait let me show you what this translates to and then draws the two lines to make it a dollar sign in the <laughs> s at the end of aliens and then they're like you got it sure let's get yeah. paul riser we can so do there that there we go uh all right uh, uh 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 so chicken chicken so there's a place called the old country store yeah uh that the the in this case the pitch went Somebody wrote the word chicken and did one line one through line. the C yes. for cents. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And they're all like, sure, we'll take it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Better, than okay. Better than nothing. Yes. Uh, and so I had been to this place six years before. Uh, I raved about it to my lovely wife who did not go with me. Yeah. Uh, and I said, well, this time we're going to stop on the way back. 
And so we stopped at yeah. the place. At the old country store. Yes. So there's steaks. There were steaks. Yeah. Uh, uh, so you think what? Is she done like this chicken, like uh, like divorce? It's done. Yeah. <laughs> it's, <laughs> I'm like, if she, it, well, it, it's levels. If she kind of goes, oh, it's okay. Yeah. Then we're fine. But if it's like, this is some bullshit. Yeah. Then I'd be like, baby, we got problems. Yeah. Because if I'm oh, that Oh, for far, you. Because if I'm that far off. Yeah, we have problems. Then there's some fun. There's some foundational issues. For Sixteen which... years makes me question things. If yeah, I don't think she's gonna like this chicken, or if I think she's gonna like it and she absolutely hates it. Yeah, now it's that's a real problem. problem. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so so that wasn't the problem. No, because when we got there, it truly is some of the world's greatest chicken. The problem was James Cameron was there. It was there, yeah. and he kept pitching his and new it movie. And it's a chicken, and he put an S with two dollar signs. Yeah, or with and then made dollars. you pay double. <laughs> now, now the the funny but, thing about and, this and place you had to wear three D glasses. <laughs> yes, the funny thing about this place. Well, it's not funny. The thing about this place is it's all buffet, so you pay for the buffet, and you just get hurt. Hilarious. eating the the chicken and yeah. other th- there's sides and all of that. But there is a a friendly proprietor, uh, Arthur Davis, who who's the guy who sold the chicken and opened the place, and he's a lovely. Old gentleman. I, I, I think we have a recording of, of Ar- Ar- Arthur Davis. Davis. Do- I'm Arthur Davis. That's and pretty if close. you ever come down to the old country store, you're going to get more chicken than you can eat. I dare you, you son of a bitch. I'm come telling you my, that it's Come very into close. my <laughs> store and try to eat more chicken than me. That's I'll right. spit bones in your neck and make you choke. Wow. What? Arthur Talk about how there's only two lines. There's in the only two sign. lines in a in a chicken and only one in a dollar sign. So you come down here and tell me otherwise yes. so I can bury you, you motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, that's right. that's I, 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 I remember that that's classic cat. Classic. He, but yeah, he yeah. does it in a very nice voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it in a nice yeah. voice. In a nice voice. Well, you know, I, I, there's... There's some chicken and then there's some other chicken. Yeah, you're just I'm, doing I'm, Paula I'm, a nicer, I'm a nicer man <laughs> than I was before. So come on down to the That's store right. now. You That's hear? Right. And I'll and I'll bury you, you mother. You bury me? <laughs> you motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah. So, so you may fuck my mother. <laughs> <laughs> you, you may oh my mother. So uh, uh, the place has people in it, and he's going table to table, and he's known to sing to people. He He sings! My mother or my grandmother made the cornbread. My grandma. And we're like, okay. And I'd heard it before. So all right, in in a hour, how many times does he do the bit? I probably saw it twice in the hour that I was there. Okay. All right. Question. Which is more taxing emotionally, to pick a card and remember it or to listen to the song that you've already heard from three tables over? Yeah. I, I, considering he heard it twice and he was fucking over it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I mean, right, and I was right. like, it's fine. Yes, I, I, know, I know the bit. So right. he comes over to us, and by this time, the place is kind of emptied out because we've gotten there a little bit later in the day. And uh, enjoying the chicken. EK is looking lovely. She is enjoying the chicken. She's like, damn, you're right. This is really good chicken. And so he came over, and I could tell that he's used to making people uncomfortable, either by his singing or his joking or whatever. Just, you know, like it's you yeah. do a thing, and you're like, oh. Okay, you know, like when we go anywhere and do anything and people are like, oh, okay, all right. Well, but of course, I see an improv moment. Right. And so you want to yes and I'm gonna the chicken yes, man. Whatever he does, so, I'm yeah. going to yes and. So, so if I'm reading this right, what he wants to do is say something awkward like, well, you know where those feathers came from. Well, I mean, just or then, just and, singing and, a song. And, and just wait yeah. for you to be yeah. all like, no, and where, where do they come from? Yeah. But instead, you're all like, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. From, from Ted Redford's Chicken Feather Factory. Well, what, false chickens and false promises, that's exactly if you ask right. me. That's yeah. right. Yeah, okay. But he came over and he looked at me and he goes, you know, you didn't have to call me four times. And you're, he says, you call me, that's what he opens with. He walks up and he goes, you didn't have to call me four times. We were open. Pause. In our reality, yeah. this happened. Okay. What do we say? Uh, uh, how else were you going to know COVID was made by Fauci? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good enough. Yeah, all right, that's good all right, enough. All right. 
And I responded to, look, I just told you I needed to be sure. I just wanted to make sure that you were here. And he's like, oh. I said, you know, I'm here with my wife. I just want to make sure you're open. And he goes, well, you know, when you're wooing a woman, you want to make sure you do with the right kind of chicken. And I was like, well, that's why we're here. This is the whole reason we came here. And so he starts singing to her, I Can't Help Myself, by the, 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 the Four Tops. Sure. Sugar Pie Honey Bunch. Yeah. Sugar Pie Honey, honey bunch. bunch. So he just starts singing. I know that I, mean, I love you. I mean, weird like love this. And you. he is I right can't there help singing myself. to her. And EK is going, I love she you. Doesn't so she doesn't know. She doesn't know that I didn't chicken. call four times. Licking on my fingers. <laughs> licking on my fingers. Cause the chicken grease. That's chicken, chicken grease. grease. Yes. And that's basically what happened. COVID was made in a <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell me about it Tower it, Seven. About what it. happened to Tower Seven? <laughs> it's all a, and so and so. I just add on, and he starts going, "Oh, you're playing." And so right. we got to play, and Ek actually gets really touched because she thinks that I oh, called. No! And so she's like, and she's holding my hand and basically saying, I'm going to bang the shit out of you tonight, right? Yeah. I mean, just giving you that look. I mean, now, now, like, now, now, now you're all greased up. So truly, <laughs> Arthur Davis was my wingman. He totally wingmanned me. So you smashed? Oh. <laughs> hey! Yeah. I don't know how to end that. Hey. <laughs> I don't know how to end that. I liked, I liked everything so except dancing. for the last... <laughs> 30 seconds. <laughs> what I'm saying is, I smashed. All right. Yeah. <laughs> right, next topic. Next topic. Our next topic is. Dooski. Uh, I saw this funny tweet. <laughs> <laughs> this great moment that yeah. everybody missed. This moment that I looked at Justin and Justin looked at me, and without saying a word, both of us asked, Is this yours, motherfucker? No, <laughs> no, no, it wasn't mine. It's almost like we had a whole. Okay. It's like, yeah. that was an hour ago. Yeah, man, Come on, that's man. like many, many, many minutes ago. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I saw this funny tweet uh, and this funny video, and I thought it would be fun for us to see this. So this is at Emmy Fisher on Twitter, uh, who says, Holy shit. Downloaded a bootleg Russian copy of The Simpsons Hit and Run. Do you guys know what The Simpsons Hit and Run is? Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. Was this, a, was, this a, was the card game. It was GTA Five. Yeah. That's right. They made a, a GTA game with The Simpsons. Yeah. Uh, 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 they continue. Uh, a, a Russian copy of The Simpsons Hit and Run. And amongst other features, like there is no brake key for the cars and left mouse click does everything. I'm pretty sure the bootlegger has personally dubbed every character in every cutscene. What? I'm crying. У Мини зашла в школу и забыла дома свой научный проект. Можешь отвезти его ей. Wow. А это обязательно. Ты можешь идти на работу. И я должен идти на работу. So, uh, so he leaves in some of the like distinctive things where he's like, I know I can't carry the dough. <laughs> Right. Like, so I'm going to need to have the real dough in there. But but otherwise, I'm going to carry the mail for all my comrades. Uh, it continues in this other video. I found an untranslated line. However, thankfully, he remembered to dub the rest of the conversation. Barney, can I borrow the plow king? That's great. Man, anyway. kings to that dude. Yeah, like yeah. that's that's a that's that that is no small amount of work to do to mm -hmm. to go and do. I mean, even like going. They, I, they, I follow a guy who does. Uh, he hacks old like NES games and translates the text in those games, and yeah. that is a whole heap of mess to do because text is is in these games in so many different ways. Yeah, but then also to like record audio, and he does like kind of different pitches and tones for different characters. Up. Uh, Wow, I don't know. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know anything about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sun Sunbun uh, uh, pointing out uh, all on the Nokia uh, Nokia thirty three ninety five microphone. Uh, but no, uh, yeah. big 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 commitment. We love you, Russia man. Thank you, Russia. Yeah. You're the greatest man that Russia's ever made. Well done, uh, my friend. We trust you to not invade Crimea. 
yes. uh, Ukraine. He won't. Or, he Crimea. or, or Crimea. Or Crimea. Crimea Cry- is already done. Yeah, Cr- Crimea. Or, or, Crimea. or, or, yeah, or, or Mongolia. Oh, no. That's the other side, isn't it? The other side. Yeah. All right. Yeah. It can invade multiple directions. They go both It's a ways. big landmass, Justin. 2021. Come on. Uh, uh, hey, hey, Bryce. Yeah. Um, has everybody realized that this show, this episode sucks yet? Like, <laughs> like, uh, or, or do you think no, we're still it's fooling a good episode. Uh, no, Are we, are we're we still fooling fun. them? Hold on. If this was a shitty episode, people would recognize oh. the fact that we were constantly playing old clips and going, ha ha, remember that? Oh shit. Yeah. Wait, hold on. We're not doing it's a what everybody show. else fucking is doing everybody this else week. Is either not doing an episode Look at your fucking feet, or people. they're doing clip show episodes. Yeah. But we're not doing that. Yeah. Right. Unless hey. we did this earlier this year. We might have. Let's Did we do this? That. All right. Oh. Everybody say the most recent thing that happened in the news. So so we know that this was not pre-recorded okay, in ready? the middle of the Three, year. Three, two, one. There's a way. Tony, Tony, 2012. 2012. Three, yeah. two. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. New episode. Yeah. New episode. Okay. Uh, New episode. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, if you wanted to support this old episode. Yeah, you can go to uh, patreon.com slash great night. Uh, guys, we've, uh, uh, we're going to enter in to our first full year of great night in 2022. We would love for you to be aboard for it. Uh, uh, we very much feel that, that this thing is growing, mutating, mm-hmm. becoming something uh, bigger, better, awesome than it ever uh, uh, has been before. And 2022 is going to be the best Duh. Be on it, friends. Be on it like a a a protagonist in a fantasy movie holding the back of a griffin. There you you go. Because that's what you need. We're gonna soar into the sky together. There you go. There you go. Says the griffin as it pierces the clouds. (laughs) Yeah. That's where we're gonna be. Yeah. Right now is the clouds. Yeah. Out of it. Oh shit, Griffy. The only way for us to make it through those clouds is with money. And what? that's why you What's money? <laughs> that's why you need to go <laughs> to patreon.com slash great night. Give us money and we give you free uh, episodes that aren't free <laughs> for you. They're paid episodes. We give you free episodes that aren't free. Free. But only if you give us money. This is Patreon. a clip show. Uh, slash Everything's going to be better when we... Flatten the curve in two weeks. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Frankie, I'm so sorry. Yeah. I think Space Jam 2 is going to come out on time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is an episode that's new. <laughs> Nailed it. I hope Nailed they it. bring uh, the wall down. Which I, one? Yeah. Any of them. Doesn't really matter. Yeah. I mean, fuck Pink Floyd. <laughs> I mean, that Ma- Nelson Mandela could be president. Yeah. He can. That's right. No, he died. Yeah. In prison. And Bishop <laughs> Tutu. Yeah. Oh. And hey. John Madden. And John and Lennon. John, and, and John Lennon. Mm-hmm. But. Patreon.com slash great night. <laughs> if you give us a dollar, you will never die. <laughs> <laughs> They really walk into a, a movie theater and watch the fucking Matrix? No. In the new movie? They're no. walking to a fucking thing and they're watching the movie. It, the movie is in the movie, yes. But it's like a whole thing. Just watch them. It's fine. It's no, whatever. actually don't. For. It's a romp. Uh, it's a romp. Uh, it's a fun you know romp. What? You probably don't have to. I think it's a fun romp. Ronk? Uh, yeah, it's a ronk. That's right. <laughs> Uh, rock and roll, rock, brother. Rock and roll. So, that so is it? Are you saying it's it's? Uh, you go and watch the Matrix, the new one, and they go into the movie theater and they see Bill and Ted face the music. Is no, that the? No, they go and they watch yeah. the Matrix. Oh, okay. did you see that movie in 1999? No, that's coming out soon, though, isn't it? It is because we're recording this. I'm in high school. <laughs> Hell, had the force. Hey Bryce. Yes. Oh, thank God. There's only <laughs> one way that we like to kill fucking time at the end of the year, isn't it? That's right. Uh, it is time for the Google Year in Search. Woo! <laughs> Formerly the Zeitgeist. Formerly the Zeitgeist. It's not the Zeitgeist anymore. Turns so, out that name was too German. Turns Somebody out. Somebody was like, uh, like, 
Hello, it's me, Larry and Sergey. We've uh, fused together into mm -hmm. one voice. Is there anybody who has a problem with the phrase Google zeitgeist? Uh, I see a tentative hand there. Uh, there yes. A tentative hand in the back, maybe yeah. a shy person. Uh -huh. Let's put a spotlight on him. Okay. You seem to tentatively have a problem with calling it Google Zeitgeist. Uh, yes, uh, um, I'm afraid that I'm going to make too easy of a joke. Yes. Because <laughs> Germany. Go on. Like, people won't respect me if I just go to the first joke you think about with Germany. So people are going to think that I'm a hack because it's Zeitgeist German. Yes. So the easy joke would be... Easy that everybody would look down on me because it's an easy joke. I feel like we're on the same page. <laughs> Very easy joke. You want to kiss your mother's nipples? <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I guess that's Austrian. Yeah. yeah, I was thinking of World War II. Oh, or ah! World War One. Or, or, or. They were in the mix with both of them, those scamps. Uh, so, mm. the darn Huns. The year answer, so every year. Google... I think people have realized this episode sucks. <laughs> no, yeah. I think we All right, here that. we go. Come on. Uh, so, every year, Google says these are the most searched search terms across the world. We've got the United States top 10 searches for 2021. We're going to go through them all and see who knows a little bit about 2021. How's everybody yeah. feeling about 2021? Yeah, real good. I, I, I'm going to go, I'm gonna go 10 for 10. I'm going to go 10 for 10, I feel like. Wow. Uh, shouts out to Weird MI who says, come on, Brian, the joke is right there. All right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I'll go 7 for 10. I think I can. Ooh, seven. Brett, what do you think? Uh, uh, I... I, are you? Am I gonna? Oh, you're gonna I'm play? A, yeah, why not? Okay. I mean, it's not a game. Um, no, no, no. I'll we're do, we're just talking I'll do about five it. out of ten. Brett can get five. Justin, you think you're going ten out of ten? I think I'm going ten out of ten. Do five. Wow. So yeah. if if we hit our benchmarks, Bryce has to pay us twenty dollars each. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. You and yeah. do our uh, cameo and do a push Justin. up. That's right. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, uh, uh, let's do number ten. Squid Game. Got it. A squid game. I think Woo! all of us know about the squid game. In fact, I'll put myself on this list here. Getting, getting it on, man. Wait, squid game. Is 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 that how we get to play? Is just shout, got it? I got it. No, you have to. No, you have to. You have to solve my riddles. You guys three. have a little. Okay. Room right. for room for but, error. I have no right, room for right. error. Yeah. Did you see that squid game? Got it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, well, so, so well, what was the most surprising part of the squid game for you? The the, uh, the amount of squids. That was the weird. I thought there would right. be one squid, but, but instead there, was there was multiple squids. Oh. Have you seen the show? Uh Brett? yeah, totally. Okay. You haven't seen it, have you? I've seen it. It was made in what country? Uh of uh Paris? Oh no. <laughs> yeah. No, actually you that was Emily in Paris. Uh, no. It's very similar. No, no, but, but 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 in Emily in Paris there is a scene where two squids are up on top of the Eiffel and Tower. And they're just kissing yeah. and, and they're all like they're mm, like we we must we love oh. each other with squids. And then the other one's like is this shit a game to you? Oh my god. And he's like oh no. Oh, I winked all over oh. my my oh, uh, Panera I so premature cigarettes are oh. still cool here. Oh. Did you say uh, Panera? Yes. Okay. Uh, Squid Game. Uh, we watched Squid Game for Cord Killers uh, yeah. uh, very recently. I enjoyed it. Uh, Korean drama. Korean action drama. Yes. Uh, the creator got into a fight with LeBron James. Go on. LeBron James is a basketball player. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 and uh, so uh, uh, he was having a, a semi-miked conversation. It was him and his teammate on the Los Angeles Lakers, Anthony Davis, as they were like changing places for their post game press conference, and Anthony Davis says which, to LeBron, which "Is the plot of Squid, Squid Games. Games?" Yep. He says to LeBron, "Oh, I finished watching Squid Game," and they have a conversation about the end. Yeah. In in front of all these cameras and microphones. Yeah. And LeBron James said that the ending was bullshit, and he didn't appreciate the uh, actions of the main character in the final moments of the final episode. Which, if you've seen it, you understand them. The main character makes a choice, uh, and the uh, uh, 
creator of Squid Game was like, I don't know, LeBron James, why don't you make your own fucking Squid Game and I'll shit on that. <laughs> More specifically, he was like, uh, hey, you did Space Jam 2, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> There was no actually that might have been it might have been that uh, right, uh, okay there we go because uh, yeah LeBron LeBron came out uh, no the the creator said that's my ending if he has his own ending that would satisfy him maybe he could make his own sequel and I'll check it out and maybe send him a message saying I liked your whole show except the ending <laughs> <laughs> so boom bumped on LeBron smack uh, 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 so everybody so did 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 every had a, did have you guys seen any I, oh, I I watched all of it can I can I say I I don't know why it was so think piece worthy or or beloved or I liked considered it. No, good. I thought it was really good. So yeah. I, 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 will, I, will, I will differ from you if, if you didn't think it was good. So I, I thought it was very good, uh, but I thought it was more of a visceral kind of like it was interesting because of the world. I, like it, it, for whatever reason, it became this like, oh, finally, we're going to dunk on capitalism now that right. squid games here and it's yeah. like i i didn't see quite that but uh i guess a lot of people did i mean it's a sh a, sh a series of tournaments in which poor people are selected to do battle with each other for the amusement of rich people so hunger games right only korean, korean. but also okay. like longer and not enough intricacy to the message right. i think the message makes sense i get it i mean it's not a lot of critical thinking you need to get from a to b but i also don't think that the criticism is very in depth it's yeah. just kind of like wow poor people get treated bad yeah i think we kind of need that yeah. Yeah. yeah or it's like poor people will volunteer for this kind of treatment yeah. because they they want a shot you know an all-in-one let me let me let me go for broke kind of shot for stuff uh but yeah, I don't know. I, I liked it though. I thought that, that some of the some of the some of the, the actors were were really good and compelling. And uh, uh, I totally called the swerve with the old guy, and and I got to just put it right in my wife's face. I was like that. I called this swerve with the old guy, and then that swerve happened, and I'm like, I told you, huh. right? And when that swerve happened, you of course felt like deeply satisfied because it made sense in any way <laughs> and changed your opinion about anything at all, right? And you didn't feel like it was just a trite swerve that was obvious that you could call from a mile away. And number four did nothing to advance the plot. It it would have been in more because they do they execute the, the the middle part of the swerve really well. I, sure. I, I think it it is really affecting. Uh, it would have been better if they would have left it there. If you cut everything because like nothing really happens. Like based on the end of that swerve, so I'm with you. I, I think I think it would have been it would have been better if that character like 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 by, ends halfway through. At that the end process. of the swerve arc, I was just like, so we're supposed to like you now, I guess. Yeah. Wait, the old guy? Yeah. Are we? I don't. Well, I don't I, think. So. I, I mean, did I stumble into spoiler in time? <laughs> Bryce number nine. <laughs> number nine. <laughs> Georgia Senate race. Ooh, Ooh, not only did I nail it, I was there. Oh, you were there. Uh, can you, what happened? I don't. <laughs> why, why did you see Kyle at the end of that? I did. <laughs> I was Pinocchio. Right, don't do it again. Don't do it again. No, no, no. You have it's to go full screen. No, 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 no. no. Do the OK sign. No, you, I'm it's, really, my... doing, it's worse every time. The more you do it, it's way worse. No, stop it. It's not a bit. My it's legs are lifting as well. No, you don't, you don't. I ain't got no strings. No, I can't have you on screen that. doing that anymore. You, this is a family show. You can't be doing that on here. That's a blue law. Uh, <laughs> the Senate race. What happened with the Senate race? Brett, you and I followed this very closely. <laughs> very closely. We were we were like, man, okay. Google psych. Every, every year, <laughs> Brett and I decide to very intensely watch one very tight race yep and we we're like it's gonna be georgia this year yep and we're gonna care just a one lot. right one only one only one That's only one only one only one that was the big thing about georgia is that it was only one race yeah 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 was there another well done no go on please you got it no you okay. got it who was it right. against who was yeah. it against ah, i mean brett uh, it was uh <laughs> it was jeff mcgoogle of oh, course and yeah and Who is he's of what party? Uh, he he was a Democrat. And what is his big stance? Uh, no Trump. Sure. 
Yeah. That sounds that sounds accurate. That yeah. Sounds yeah. Accurate. So so uh, Jeff McGoogle was running against who? Uh McAuliffe. No, that Jerry was Jerry yeah. McAuliffe. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was Some idiot. asshole, uh, Republican. Yeah, sure. yeah. Harry and McCall, like, Jeb McGoogle versus some voting. some and, asshole. Okay. And, yep. and also, let's close down voting stations. All right, so let's Brett also close down the vote. The check mark. Can we please not be political? <laughs> 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 All right, so Justin knew that one. Uh, some okay. say I yeah. did not. Uh, so what? Th- no. What? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, truth's out. Uh, uh, this was very, very, very early in the year. This was January 5th. Yeah. Uh, uh, down there in, in Georgia. And actually, it was two races. It was two runoff races because oh, of the way that, right. that uh, the laws work in Georgia. I about that. Uh, John Ossoff was running against David Perdue, yes. who is now actually running to primary the governor of Georgia. And Raphael Warnock was running against Kelly Leffler. Yes. Uh, and both of the Democrats won because the then... Uh, uh, president who was serving out his term came down to Georgia and actively did voter suppression for the Republican party <laughs> oh, yeah, right. by holding a rally uh, where he talked about how voting is rigged and the state has rigged and they voting. Go. <laughs> and he didn't explicitly say it. He did. He did explicitly say you should go out and vote, but it was definitely like fourth on his list of priorities uh, uh, above all of them was that the governor and secretary of state were crooks who stole the election from him. So, oh, this is uh, the one with the recording where he was like, "Hey, can you fucking give me the election? Because I think this is House of so Cards." So that, that came yeah. out. That came out <laughs> forty eight hours election. before uh, uh, the so the tape that he had where he was calling Brad Raffensperger, uh, the secretary of state of Georgia, came out. I believe forty eight hours before. I remember I was in Atlanta. Uh, uh, when 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 all that was happening, but wow. uh, yeah, it, it also was. Uh, I was I was at a, a a a small airport in Durham, Georgia, freezing my nuts off while Kimberly Guilfoyle just goes on and on and on. <laughs> so that's what I remember about that. <laughs> Am I supposed to know who Kimberly Guilfoyle is? Someone who goes on. If you can actually on. actually hold on, Bryce. Just yes. uh, 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 go Kimberly Guilfoyle RNC speech and literally just go to the final like 10 seconds of it. And if you don't know her, <laughs> you're about to know her. She was, oh, uh, somebody who has a colorful uh, romantic history, ex-wife of Gavin Newsom, the current uh, uh, governor, governor of California, California. and I, 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 now I the girlfriend of Donald Trump Jr. Oh. Uh, She's got range, baby. Uh, but a former, oh, yeah. uh, a, a former Fox News host. Uh, and and yeah. here we go. This is her at the RNC in 2020. And for an American president who is fearless, who believes in you, and who loves this country and will fight for her. President Trump is the That's leader right. who will rebuild the promise of America and ensure that every citizen can realize their American dream. Ladies and gentlemen, leaders and fighters for freedom and liberty and the American dream, the best is yet to come. Woo! <laughs> yeah. uh, anyway, uh, yeah. she likes to talk. Uh, Bryce, number eight. All right, number eight. Stimulus check. Stimulus check. The stimmy. Stimmies. I knew that one. Remember the stimmy? Yeah, I, I remember the stimmy. I, I, I almost I, got I, all of those. Uh, who got yeah. them stimmies? <laughs> who got them stimmies? I mean, first of all, did they even call them stimulus checks? They called yeah. them like uh, stimmies, loans stimmies, that do not stimmies, need to be stimmies, repaid. No, those are, no, those no. are PPPs. Those are okay. PPPs. Stimmy, stimmy, they were calling them stimulus checks. Yeah. Uh, PPPs and stimmies were two different things. So uh, uh, a paycheck protection program, program loans for the businesses. Stimmies. Uh, uh so you could apply through a bank for a loan that then you could say, also, can I not pay it? And right. the government said, well, if you ask nicely, and that was that. Uh, and then the stimulus checks went out to every American, mm-hmm. uh, uh, unless you were every. over a certain like oh. uh, threshold. Yeah. Oh. Did you not get a stimmy, bro? Bryce. Did you not get a stimmy? Wow. What's if you, if you If you got a stimmy, what would you spend it on, though? Fourteen hundred dollars. I, 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 uh, I, 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 cameos. 
<laughs> you buy. Oh, you would have gotten. You would have gotten. Uh, spread the love. Yeah, Brian, Brian Cox. Cox. Yeah, you would have gotten a couple uh, of Brian oh, yeah. Cox. Tell Brian me, Cox fuck off you. twice, fuck baby. Off. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, uh, Bryce, did you get your stimmies? I got one stimmy check. I got one. I, my taxes are always a little weird, so it was very slow for me to get. To, to a little weird. Them. What do you fucking write them in in papyrus font? Uh, they're a little weird, but. Uh, uh, but I did get one of them. That's how I got my my MacBook computer. Uh, yep. Hold on, quick question. Uh, yeah. uh, I, I I I I had to experience more ads recently than I normally do, uh, and it was because <laughs> of Miami Vice. Miami Vice uh, used to be uh, season one. You could just watch it all on uh, uh, Stars, I think, which I had a subscription through uh, Amazon. But then it, it, it was I had to move to NBC, and the NBC has this weird like formula where one of the four ads has to be, hey, don't be ashamed of that weird, lumpy bump midway through your boner. No more shame. Drug name. And, and I saw it a lot. Are you ashamed? Uh, I don't believe that I have a lumpy stated... bump in the middle of your boner. Right. Does... But, 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 but like... The algorithms know this kind of thing. They do. Okay. But was Bonnie using your computer at any time? Yeah, <laughs> just I, I, a, a, a troubling question, but a good question to ask, Brett. Thank you. We go to the answer now. All with right, Brian. hold on, Brian. wait a minute, Brian. No, I know, no, no, I know, but, I know but, we've been doing this for over ten years. Yes, yes. And it's about time that this sentence was finally said on there. <laughs> yes. All right. Let me see your dick. <laughs> We're checking it out right now. Let me see your dick. Wow, look at I the wanna... bump on that shit. Oh, my God. Wow, that no. is a lumpy, bumpy boner. It is a lump. I mean, in that, it's a boner. Uh, That's lumpy, even more bumpy impressive. boner. <laughs> the weirdest part is do not be ashamed. Yeah. Yeah. But the weird part <laughs> is the smug, silver-haired, 50-year-old cunt who's got his arms crossed looking at the camera like, I don't have to be ashamed anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Does it just make you not ashamed? It makes, that, it makes me want to start that's trying exactly to bend my right. boner yeah, and get no, a weird no, no, no. It doesn't bump. do anything to your dick. It just like you just take it and you're like, no, that bump rules. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. <laughs> I'm, 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 Actually, I'm, 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 I'm just going to draw a little face on it. I do believe that's called Xanax, right? I mean, it's just... He, he I'm, shame there it we go. There we go. Uh, 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 bent carrot. There it is. Yeah, look at this shit. Oh, oh okay. Oh God! Oh boy! Uh, I yeah. hope. Oh, sorry. It's not going to be as good as me singing "Have a Lumpy Bumpy Boner." <laughs> Have a lumpy bumpy boner, <laughs> but do Almost. not be ashamed. <laughs> of the, the two weird ass balls that hang below through. are not the only bumps you'll name. <laughs> Got a guy. But when yours bends in a different direction, right. you might feel bothered by it. So talk to a urologist because a bend in your <laughs> erection might be Peyronie's Now a bend is pretty serious. Oh, get in there. A build up of scar tissue. Wow, they're so just showing the whole carrot the whole time, huh? Only FDA approved not okay, this is just an effort. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> they're advertising like a, like they had to make up the disease restless leg syndrome in yeah. order to to sell drugs to stop restless leg syndrome. So it straightens out your dick. Uh, at least your carrot. Yeah. Or at least makes you happy about Bet it. Carrot.com is apparently where you need to Bet go. Carrot. Okay, well, they can pay us. What was the thing we were talking about? We were talking about advertisements and how uh, I was oh, watching no. NBC. Oh, you, yeah, you watched this. No, but what this was came the, up when you were watching Miami Vice? What, was yeah. the, what did this have what, to do with the stimmy? The stimulant. How did you connect this to the stimulus check? Because you use stimulants to get rid of your lumpy, bumpy boner? Is that. Like Next it? topic, Bryce. <laughs> Was it because PPE sounded like PP? All right, number seven. <laughs> number is, it seven. Because, is it because Lumpy Bumpy Boner made you think of Life Day? It's a lumpy, bumpy. <laughs> number seven. AMC stock. Oh. You guys remember AMC stock? Yeah, wow. So, I mean, I, I would imagine. All right, so now there's two things that I think are going to pop up higher than this because they, they were echoes of larger events that happened around them but if amc stock is that high then i imagine another stock is that is is even higher up on the google zeitgeist list but yeah uh, the big short squeeze the proletariat brian rising up against the cnbc backed hedge funds i wow. i don't uh 
No. Brett, Brett would you like to translate? Yes. There's a station called CNBC. Yes. And they sell stock sometimes. And That's then right. AMC are three letters. That's right. And they are part of a movie showing company. Yeah, movie company. And right. Then, so wait, hold on. If I, if I say to the moon, do you know what that means? Uh, yes. No. Stonks. Then we start talking about stonks. Yeah. yeah. Right? But but now we're talking about GameStop. So well, when, and so AMC. Yes. So basically, as soon as and so I'm assuming GameStop is going to be a little bit later in this in this in this thing. But AMC was among the stocks that once the GameStop thing started happening. Word got around. Oh, here are other stocks that are over leveraged Here's or short other sells. Garbage jokes yes. that teenagers should leverage Nokia, at a ten to one ratio. Nokia was one of yeah. them. AMC was one of them. Like got I think it. Bed Bath and Beyond it, was one it, of them. It, so there was like all these businesses that uh, uh, were, were now all of a sudden, prices. you know, super jacked up. And AMC yeah. was really on the brink of bankruptcy because yeah. they were hammered, obviously by COVID at the time, uh, uh, but. They got a random ass cash infusion, and uh, they seem to be still on their on two feet. I would have bet that they would have went bankrupt there. Seems COVID. like people should have invested in Pfizer or well, Moderna. Well, no, but then also, th <laughs> I mean, all right, Mister Wise Investor here. Uh, I thought you were the Austin scam school Real guy. States. I thought you were the guy <laughs> who liked a little chaos, a little, a little, a uh, little crazy yeah, pants, yeah, silly song. Yeah, they yeah. should be. They should be investing in Purdue Pharmaceuticals. Right. I think that what? you should be uh, in <laughs> index funds. Mm. Uh, it's safe school. <laughs> Bryce, where can I invest in Lone Star? <laughs> <laughs> All right, number six. Safe school. Meow, meow. <laughs> <laughs> number six. Mega millions. I don't know this one. I did not know. Oh, I mean, I, I know mean, what the Mega Millions are. Evergreen, right? Yeah, I, th I, th yeah. I think uh, Mega Millions hit over $500 million and became one of the biggest prizes ever, and somebody won it. Oh. I think, uh, their lives were forever improved. better. Forever. Everybody yeah. who wins the lottery lives forever. Yeah. It's uh, only good news. Apparently, the top term on that was Mega Millions, January twenty second, twenty twenty one. So wow! So like, uh, 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 January was really balling out because there's there's a, definitely another January event that I'm sure is going to pop up here. Uh, uh, yeah, no, that's that is that that's that's crazy. I didn't. I mean, that was off my radar. I I know what Mega Millions is, so I could assume because periodically, whenever it gets to a crazy level, people yeah Google shit like that a lot. Uh, actually, here we uh, here we go. Uh, One point zero five zero billion dollars was won by the Wolverine FLL Club of Oakland County, Michigan. That's seven hundred seventy six point six million dollars in cash. Snick snick. Woo. Yeah. Um, oh wait, how how big was that group? Do we know how big that group was? Uh, not because that is some. Um, yeah, let's hope everybody is on their best behavior if we have that amount of money <laughs> somebody involved. gonna die somebody gonna die yeah. uh, <laughs> like that's that that's some for real squid game shit yeah speaking of squid games and i, I think they are a lottery club so i think they did have a, at least a couple of people involved um i, I guess i guess yeah, you guys I mean, do the lottery? If, it, if it's a lottery club then there's probably at least like bylaws in place and some sort of like, but if you want to get in, everybody agrees that, like, hey, for what you put in, this is what you get out. Yeah, blah, sure. Blah. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Um, but I did not know it had hit a record. Did, did anybody? I did not know that it hit a record. No. Turns out that uh, we're looking at other numbers that were in the billions. <laughs> <laughs> hi -yo. All right. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Let's Termites. Go to... Oh, no. Number five. <laughs> Brian Laundry. Brian Laundry. This one I do not know. Fuck! I'm out. Wow. Just I don't know Brian Laundry. Are you are you joking? No. This was Pinky Swear. I I mean, from what he is saying. This is the one time I ever hit the top ten search things on Google News. And you're telling me you somehow missed it? You did your laundry? <laughs> no, I didn't do my laundry. And who was mad? My 
Why? How mad? So mad. We made the top, top 10, 10 of <laughs> Google <laughs> News. <first. laughs> you pinky swear you didn't hear this. I did not. Oh, well, would you like to make a billion dollars? <laughs> So, uh, this is an article from The Guardian over a month old. Brian Laundrie, dead by suicide, autopsy report reveals uh, the man's disappearance sparked a nationwide hunt after the disappearance and death of Gabby Petito. Oh, I know that shit. Oh, fuck you. I know that, that doesn't no, count. No, no, I, I know, I know Gabby Petito. Yeah. So, no, that was a, that was a, a very weird Tempest in a Teapot situation where uh, uh, there was a couple. That we're doing a vlog, a travel vlog together, oh, a van yeah. life vlog. Oh, yeah. And then she goes missing. He uh, shows back up in Florida where they're from, then disappears. It becomes very, very clear that he is the prime suspect in her murder. And so there becomes this gigantic manhunt. And that is a story that is going to exist. It wound up becoming a big thing because it was in a relatively dead time in the summer. Also, like it had this kind of perfect storm of like, okay, a cool job, vloggers, a true crime mystery element, because you could watch all this old video of them together. Right. There was also video of them getting pulled over by the cops because she had called the cops from a domestic thing. So there was like a whole true crime element to it. It was in a, in an exotic location out in, I think the Tetons or something like that. Uh, but then of course it's Twitter. So it became like, well, it, this is only getting covered because it's a pretty white lady. And right. I would say, yes, that is one of the five reasons why this is a very, very, very popular newsworthy story. So the important question would, of course, be, how do you feel after having pinky sworn that you have no idea what this is about? Oh. Trying to claim the point. Get his ass. Get oh. him ass. I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to appeal to the field judge here. Uh, uh, uh. What, what, what do you think, Brett? Uh, I think uh, you're a lying piece of shit because you said <laughs> you pinky sweared, bro, and suddenly you knew what he was talking about. I'm going to apply to the field judge here. Uh, <laughs> I got it, yeah. Bryce to the Supreme Field Judge. Yeah, yeah. do me okay, a favor. Right. Also, edit yeah. out what Brett said. <laughs> uh, so for the first time ever, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm appealing to the field judge. Sure, I think uh, you're a bullshitter, and I think it's really <laughs> fucked up. And I think uh, if right. you can't All keep right. your so word, thank you, later. Justice Sotomayor. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, do, do, do me a favor, edit you out too. <laughs> Uh, here we you, go. You want to ask uh, Justice no, Kavanaugh? No, I'm no, right no, here. No, I like no, beer. No, I like no, beer no, a lot. No, no, no. I'm going to appeal to the field judge, Bryce Castillo. Bryce, am I okay? Yeah, you know I think it's okay. Yeah. Hey, yeah. that's not me. That's George Lucas. <laughs> How great would that be if there was a Supreme Court decision that was decided by ventriloquism? <laughs> You know, when when I was making the science machine, <laughs> I thought it would go beep beep boop boop. You know, then... it, it it rhymes. You know, <laughs> <laughs> machines don't normally go beep anymore. <laughs> um. All right. Uh. Number four. Here we go. Number four. <laughs> Judy. <laughs> Judge the Judy was number four. No. Uh. Number four. Kyle Rittenhouse. Oh. Oh yeah. Well yeah. Yeah. Uh, Justin. The, the Buffalo Wild Wings guy, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> the Saucy Nugs guy. Saucy Nugs guy. <laughs> like yeah. the Chicky Nugs. Likes him, uh, likes him a lot. Justin, if you were to describe without any type of equivocation whatsoever, yep. in plain black and white terms, yep. oh. why <laughs> is Kyle Rittenhouse one of the most popular topics of this year? In rap form. Well, it was a dark night one time in the summer when Kyle Rittenhouse was in a bummer. Uh, <laughs> so he asked for <laughs> his mother no, to no, drive no, him across straight idea. lines. It's a bad idea. Okay. So, uh, 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 <laughs> yeah, no, there's no. He way. shot some people. No, what right, do you need to are say? Are we really going to go with it? This is what we yes and the Kyle Rittenhouse rap? I thought that would be more like a yes. Done. <laughs> yeah. Kind of. Uh, yeah, I mean, what? Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, 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 you know what? Uh, do we need uh, to talk about it, or uh, uh, we all know it, right? Yeah, yeah we all know it. Yeah. We all know the Kyle Rittenhouse. We all know it. We all know the Rittenhouse. All right, number three. <laughs> Gabby Petito. 
Wow. What? Yeah. Twofer. Yeah. Twofer. That's easy. She's that great that that hot chick in the the Grand Tetons, right? Yeah, that's right. She yeah. was the, gaunt- the hot chick in the Tetons. Girl, girlfriends with the guy that killed her. She was the girl gone. She she did the girl gone girl girl gone. Do the girl gone. Apply directly to the girl. A dead woman. Yeah. Uh, all right, number oh. two. Sad year. DMX. Wow. <laughs> Okay, hold on. What's, number what's one. funny is I was going to push back against sad year, and then I heard what DMX. Are, no, yeah. this, is, this is the thing we find out every year is that like yeah. half of them are dead people. But uh, that means that either GameStop or January 6th is not going to be on this list. One of the two. Both because of them AMC, are not because COVID will be number one. So you think that both James? So the fucking that's Georgia. Right. That's right. That's right. Look me, look me in the eye and uh-huh. say it. I think that both. I don't, why do I say it? You're saying it to me. <laughs> Go ahead. Look me in the eye say and say it, it look to me. In the no, eye. I don't want to say it. Just look me in the you eye. You say it. It's I your just, point. I just want to see your eye. I, well, I'm looking at <laughs> you, look but I don't want to say it. Lovely. Keep looking. <laughs> <laughs> what the you chest. really want? <laughs> Kyle Rittenhouse. <laughs> he shot a couple people, then he went to jail. <laughs> okay. Uh, Spider Bite says maybe Justin's right. This is a bad episode. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you guys think? Goes on, Tucker Carlson. <laughs> All right. So so Justin thinks the number one will be January sixth. Can we talk about DMX? Games. I love DMX. Oh, okay. DMX icon. What's your favorite DMX song? Uh, I mean, X gonna give it to you. X gonna give it yeah. to you. Gonna give, gonna give it to you. His Christmas. It's dark, was, but his jingle top. bells was good. Well, that was yeah. I mean, that was a uh, 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 a Rudolph. That was, that was that was an off the uh, uh, off the cuff thing where he wrapped Rudolph the red nosed reindeer, and it was fucking. Can we pull that up? I feel like we need to pull that up. Yeah. it's fucking amazing. He also had a great cameo. Jesus, somebody in the in the chat, help me out. There was a Chris Rock movie that I think Chris Rock um, directed. CB four. No, no, no. This is this is later. Uh, but it was at Chris Rock and CB Rosario five. Dawson. He re-recorded that and put it, put that out on Spotify, so you can oh, hear a nice awesome. version of that on Spotify. So you can you can you can do that. But uh, uh, there is a, a Chris Rock movie with, with, with Rosario Dawson where, where Chris Rock plays. A version of himself uh and things go horribly wrong he ends up in jail and he winds up getting a talking to and like straightening out the main issues of the movie by a very 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 funny dmx uh uh playing himself in 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 jail so uh sad sad to hear it uh uh what an icon gone way 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 too soon are we placing bets on what's number all one? right all right, all so right. you say covid Gotta be. You Brian says COVID. What? COVID uh, what? COVID uh, what? Uh, Brett, what do you think? Uh, I think it is uh, January 6th. I would say January 6th too, because I don't think anybody needs to Google COVID. Yeah. I think I think everybody knew it. We'd already gone through a year of this shit. Yeah. That's why. We're too busy every, Googling every, Gabby Patino. That's why everybody was wearing masks and getting Well, vaccinated. actually, here, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I will say, uh, if you say January 6th, I'll, I'll say GameStop. I, th- I, th- I think GameStop, if AMC was that high, I think GameStop has a has, has a shot to be number one. All right. Uh, what if I told you all you were all wrong? <gasps> and they were all of them deceived. <laughs> it's Bill Clinton. Uh, you're all wrong, and none of you are even Close. Wow. Joan Rivers. So nothing, nothing COVID related. It's Britney Spears. Britney Spears. Uh, we're hearing Britney, Britney Spears, Spears from Jeff. Uh, I think it it was affected by COVID, but I would not say it's a co- it's necessarily COVID related. Ooh. Right. Oh, Olympics. And no, that was 2021. Oh, and no, but that was the yeah, year that it happened. But no. Yeah, no, but it happened this I, year I, because I, it was delayed. I, yeah, I know, yes, it was not that. Okay. <laughs> it's not the Don't have to be so fucking chesty about it. <laughs> Uh, any other last guess before I give you the... Oh, it's shit. not any of the last things that have camp. been said. Uh, mm. Chicken wings. Chicken wings. A supply chain? No. no. Is, it a, is it a movie? What? No, not a movie. Microchips, we're hearing. No, not microchips. No. Nah, these are not... Okay. Chip we were looking for... 
NBA, the National Basketball Association. <laughs> Who's ever heard of this ba, 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 basketball? Ball. Give me, give me, give me the ball because I'm going to dunk it. Uh, are you ready for Monday afternoon basketball? Now, is that a Google search over the whole world or just the United States? That This is on the United So we've been doing the United States Only. list. Right. Um, a couple of big topics as we explore this. Uh, the NBA Summer League, the NBA 2K22, the video game, NBA playoffs, uh, NBA Top Shot, which was the NFT. Which was, which was a gigantic thing. NFT thing. Yeah. Um, uh, I think you mix in all the normal and uh, the, the normal NBA popularity with the Top Shot stuff, and I guess that's enough to put it out of. I, I, I guess so. Can, yeah. Can, 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 can we take a moment to just sit with the fact that COVID didn't make the top ten? And, Again, and neither I, did lumpy boners. That's I, just so weird. I think it's because COVID was on the list last year. I think it's like the Twitter trends thing where they don't normally have the same stuff pop up over and over again. Yeah. Is my guess. Yeah. Uh, oh. Yeah. I mean, I, I think the NBA thing, uh, good for them, like good for the league, I guess. Like, because this wasn't even... I would have thought 2020 they would have had the bigger juice. Although maybe this bleeds bleeds over into it because they did the bubble and that was like the only sports that was like happening at the time was yeah. was them doing that. But yeah. uh, but but we also didn't see uh, any of the COVID variants. You know, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot, whatever, Omicron, and all. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, or January sixth. So wait, so the January fifth Georgia <laughs> elections make it. Yeah, January sixth does 6th, not. AMC a, a makes rising. it, and GameStop does, does it. Not. Well, so there are other charts. Um, so I had an idea for a little game here. If you want to transition to that, so they make other. They show you the other top charts, right? The top but, game search. Uh, yeah, but what? Uh, First and foremost, we all agree Justin won, right? Like he clearly knew the most oh, about I mean, everything. He's yeah, a dirty, I didn't dirty know. Liar, I didn't know the dipshit. Yeah. the dipshit boyfriend. Yeah, so you didn't know Brian. Laundry. I think I lose, and I owe Bryce twenty dollars. I think you owe me twenty. And a push-up. <laughs> and a push-up. <laughs> and a push-up, <laughs> and a push-up <laughs> on cameo. Uh, <laughs> what's your cameo account? I think Brian cameo did get his slash jury. I think Brian did get his seven out of ten. I think I think Brett, you did get five out of ten. I think hey, you ended up getting there we five go. Or so. All right. Um, but uh, so they give, aim low. You never uh, disappoint yourself. They show the aim the, low like your lumpy boner. Yep. Aim low, <laughs> sweet. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so they also give the top ten searches for other categories. I wondered if maybe we would do uh, a little a mini game, low, 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 low rapid fire, a little bit of a mini game. So why don't we all go around and see who is the last person who can guess uh, one of the top ten results in each of these categories, like. Uh, for example, uh, top 10 uh, news, news topics, search terms from the year. Uh, so, Justin, if, if we started. Can, with I, can I just ask a question well, since you have room. eyes on it? Yeah. Uh, do they include the terms that or can they include the terms that we have already just said. gone over or, or are they all different? One of them is in this. Category. OK, so can they can. They can. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. uh, uh, all right. So, so we're just gonna name shit. Yeah. We'll we'll just go in order, and if you fall off, you fall off, and whoever's last gets a point. Justin, right. a new top ten news search terms. Uh, top ten news search terms. Uh, uh, Trump. Trump is not. I would not say Trump is on this list, Brian. Wow. What do you think of, can you name one of the top ten? Wow. News search terms? Brett, sad. Many people are talking. Very sad. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Like a dog, he was left off the list. <laughs> Top ten. Uh, Use search terms. Uh, 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 COVID. Uh, no, I would not say COVID is any of these top ten. Brett, what do you think? Abortion ban. Abortion ban. Yep. Let's party. Uh, not on the top ten. What uh, for politics? Not for no, news. No, just news, news, oh, news, news. news. Oh. Do you want to try oh, again? Oh, hey, uh, can I go with Britney Spears? Uh, good guess. Not on this list. Fuck. Uh, any what other the last fuck is or... up with the world? Any other last ideas for news? January sixth. <laughs> no, no, January sixth. Uh, January seventh. <laughs> <laughs> Number ten. Ethereum price. Okay. Number nine. Afghanistan. Oh okay. shit! Sure. Afghanistan. Fuck me, Sure. 
Uh, a vaccine? No, vaccine did not make the list. What? Number eight, Kyle Rittenhouse verdict. Oh, uh, there we go. There it is. Number, there we go. Number seven, Hurricane Ida. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was right. the thing that hit. Number six, Dogecoin. Oh, uh, yeah. Yep. To number, the moon. Number five, GME, the GameStop. So that's GameStop. Okay, there yeah. it is. Uh, number four was Georgia Senate race. Number three was stimulus check. Number two was AMC stock. And number one was Mega Millions, which were all in the top uh, 10. Uh, okay. Wow. 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 Um, let's do this one. It turns out that when money's involved, people like Google it about it yeah. multiple times a day. Yep. How about uh, movies? The top 10 movies. Brett, why don't we start with you? What do you think was one of the top 10 movies? Uh, uh, no Way Home. Uh, Spider Man No Way Home yeah. is not on this list. What? It's actually not on this list. Oh, what the? F hey, look, I think these people at Google are drunk. <laughs> I think these people at Google have lost their goddamn mind. That's right. Justin, what do you think? Space Jam 2. Space Jam 2. Space Jam is number nine on this list. Come episode. on and slam and welcome uh, to the jam. Uh, Dune. Uh, Dune is number five on okay, this list. Good. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I, 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 what do you think, Brian? This movie's it's not Wonder Woman. <laughs> not nope, Wonder Woman. That was last year. <laughs> I know. How about so what? What about those other movies that were coming out on HBO Plus? <laughs> uh, what, what, that, what that's what I'm trying to think of right how, now. How, uh, about, uh, how about Evangelion? Was that on there? No, Ooh, no Evangelion. Okay. Thrice Upon a Time. Yep. Uh, how about how about a little bit of that Shang Chi? Legend of the Ten Oh, Rings. yeah. That's right. Number six, Shang-Chi and hey! the Legend of the Ten Rings. Oh, that's good. Uh, I like that. You have seen. I thought it was good. I'm I'm sure between the, the between all of y'all have seen at least two of the movies still left on this list. At least. Uh, Godzilla versus Kong. Yeah. Number seven. Yeah. Bow bow. Uh, uh, did, did Eternals make it? Uh, number two, Eternals. Wow. wow. Really? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Mm. Uh, any... I believe that Brian is is being very distracted by ordering a cameo for me to do a push up <laughs> by the end of this episode. Uh, any other last thoughts? Uh, the the number one, you're going to kick yourself if you don't say what the number one is. Uh, the the Matrix. It is not the Matrix Resurrections. No. Uh, and it's not Spider Man. Not the Spider Man. Is it, it is not is, Spider Man. Is it the uh, the uh, uh, the the uh, Justice League? Oh, Justice League. Snyder Cut. Release uh, it. Oh, doggone it. No, it did not, though. Okay. Tijuana oh. Jackson. Tijuana Jackson did not quite make the mm -hmm. top 10. Purpose uh, over prison. Uh, the top 10. Oh, Suicide Squad? Su the eight, no, the, the Suicide Squad. The Suicide Squad. That's number eight. There we go. I really ah. like that one, too. Yeah. Uh, ones we were missing. Number 10, In the Heights. Oh, that was good. Oh, man. Number yeah. four. I'll tell you what. I really think the West Side Story ripped that shit off. <laughs> <laughs> number four mortal Kombat. Ooh. okay that was supposed to be pretty good i've heard that test that your good. might okay number three halloween kills sure it does yeah and number one i'm really surprised none of y'all said this black widow oh oh because i i just see that as yelena that's what i see i don't think of it as black, black widow. widow i just think of it as yelena yeah, yeah. it's awesome uh let's see that hawkeye show got better when she showed up yep huh? Uh, almost instantly. Interesting how that happened. Huh? Yes. Uh, let's see. Uh, ba, 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 oh, yeah. To dude, James Bond got stuffed in a locker, huh? Holy cow. Dude. Oh, yeah. No James Bond on yeah. there. Boom. Pa. No Tenet, which was the end of last year. Oh, that's right. Yeah. No. T well, I think we'd all been. Yeah. Tenet. they We had all been tenanted out at that point. Everybody had their own. The, wor the world itself was too confusing by that the world point. The world is a vampire. <laughs> the world is a drink. vampire. All right. Uh, let's do the last one here for this mini game uh the top 10 google search terms for tv shows top 10 tv mm. shows as per google search Arc succession Light. yeah succession was in there succession is not on the top 10 what all right fuck uh, this list fuck off this is uh, bullshit hawkeye wait hold on squid Get, game uh, all right hawkeye everybody every, everybody everybody react to succession not being on the list in in a succession character impression well i can't Okay, all right. all right. Three, two, one. Well, I just look didn't see my name on the show. Oh, oh, show. Oh, 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 yeah. I just got my blood sugar. I just like, well, I just put it in some kind of like list, like some kind of zeitgeist. Like, fuck Is off. this real? 
Uh, so can, no somebody, can, can somebody take the temperature on this? <laughs> what the fuck? No Hawkeye, Squid Game number one. Yep. On the list, of course. Uh, so we got nine more, and I know that you can name at least half of these. Great. Uh, uh, Wheel of Time. No oh, Wheel of Time. Get out of here. And also too recent, I think. Roll that one off a cliff. I think that and hey. Hawkeye. Oh, uh, 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 The Expanse. No. no. Way too late. No Expanse. Like Ted Lasso. Yeah. No to Ted Lasso either. Oh, what? How about, uh, well, WandaVision was last year, right? Uh, WandaVision. WandaVision. WandaVision is number three. Yeah. yeah. Was, was, was there a Mandalorian this year? Yeah. Might have been. Mandalorian. Not Bitch, on this might list. Be. Not on this list. What? It could be because uh, that was a season two, I believe. Oh, shit. It, Bryce, is it your Racer Man car show? Oh, Drive to Survive? No, yeah. it's not. <laughs> no, no, Racer Man car Racer show man car for show. Bryce. <laughs> oh, no, I'm driving my Racer Man car, and I've got to. Uh, Jeopardy. Je oh, not Jeopardy. What? No. That All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let, let, let uh, I can, these, are, these are the shows that everybody was talking There's at least two more about. that I know you can name. I mean, I'm, maybe I was about. pretty serious Let's when I said Jeopardy. Let's calm and down, no, right? But, well, no, we're going to focus, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. What, are, what are the shows that we Jeopardy, were talking Jeopardy, about? Jeopardy, 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 Jeopardy,
Mm -mm. They got other people, man. They're punching each other and shit. Yeah. Shit is going. Sides keep changing. Wild. We don't know what's happening. Yeah. I'm just excited right. to see a Cobra. Pass, no mercy. Yep. Uh, number four. I'm not familiar with this. Show of hands if you are. Ginny and Georgia. Oh, yeah. It what is that? that? Good. It's That's some story. anime shit? No, it, no, no. It was a story about uh, a mother and daughter that go to a town and they're kind of griftery ish. And uh, kind of, and the mom starts to get into the public, uh, 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 like with the politics oh, and, yeah, yeah. and helping out. And, but you don't really know why, what's happening. And there's stuff's being taken. And at the uh. same time, it just gets convoluted. To where uh, where you get done with it? I mean, I I got I got about wow. seven episodes in, and I was just like, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, number four on the list. Wait, wait, where was it? Where like, like where could you watch? It? I think oh, it was it's on, on Netflix. Netflix. Is it, it Netflix? Netflix? Yeah. Man, Netflix has a lot of shit, huh? Well, yeah, they yeah. do that. No, no wonder That's they're so sort of their successful bag. at it. Oh, successful. No. Uh, number three. Fuck off. Number three was WandaVision. Yeah. Uh, number one was Squid Game. Sure. Any last guesses for what number two might be between Squid Game and <laughs> WandaVision? Between a squid and a Wanda. I've heard the name. Falcon and the Winter Soldier. It is not Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Uh, you have probably not seen it. Most of the people who can. Is it a lady is show? Is it Tiger King? Is it a show for the ladies? Kind of a lady show. It's a lady nailed show. Nailed it. Man. Not nailed oh, it. No, it's, it's going to be. Oh, Bridgerton? Bridgerton. Oh, yeah. shit. Bridgerton. Look at me. I know what women do. The bang. <laughs> it's some good some good banging on that show. Oh, is it? Yeah, some good banging. They're bang. fucking? Yeah. White Lotus? On the stairs. No White Lotus. I'm surprised because the White Lotus, I feel like. No, that was nerd shit for us. I don't I guess so, but. That was like. There was a lot of conversation about that show in a way that you don't get with like streaming TV because you. It's all binge now. It's not week over week. Well, it but that's, but that's like HBO, Disney, and Hulu and shit like that. They do the week over week. Yeah. But do you know what the funny? I was thinking about this the other day that like to explain binge to kids is kind of impossible because what was Netflix? What Netflix was doing at the time was like, oh, well, we're gonna give you the DVD experience for everything, right? Yeah. And now you try to tell a kid anyway. No, it was great. It's like binging on dvds and it's like, like they're like what? i don't know what the what is, fuck you're talking about reading a book I, yeah i, I don't you're get a, it you're a dumb old decrepit piece of shit yeah. and i'm like <laughs> get out of here child in my head and he's I, like i live here <laughs> i say fuck you i apologized on my children's behalf <laughs> uh there we go so that's uh the google gear in search uh thank you everybody for spending a good 2021 with us if yeah you had an idea for a game a high thought an idea for a punishment any sort of stuff. Great night. Yeah, no pod. punishments. No, 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 no more. No, no, no punishment. Just, uh, no just, 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 just not check in. Oh, like, shit. like you didn't, uh, you didn't get any your side gigs. Uh, your Uber oh, app man. didn't oh, bleep. Did you get bloop. anything? Great night pod at Gmail. Oh wait, hold on. I just got requested. Oh. Also in the show notes. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh. This is a new 24-hour request, oh, Justin wow. Robert Young. Oh. 24 uh, uh, hours. To cameo.com slash jury, J-U-R-Y. Oh. Uh, uh, now, okay. what is the request? Who is, can you, do you, do you can, are you allowed to say who it's for? Is that HIPAA? No, yeah. I don't think, I think this is HIPAA compliant. <laughs> I've got Justin Fever, and I don't care who knows it. <laughs> okay, Insurance here we go. A new cameo right request. Okay. New uh, uh, hold on. This is so minute. unprofessional. Let me, let, me, let me hit record. Um, here we go. Uh, so this is. Uh, I'm just gonna start recording it. Okay. So do me a favor. Do, do you want me to hold it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna flip the camera. Uh, so you just. Uh, just go ahead. Just point. Okay. So hit, now hit Brian is. Okay. I'm, I'm, yeah. Oh, do I hold it? Or no, no. You just hit it. Going. Oh. Yeah. I, okay. Okay. All right. It's it's definitely uh, showing me. I think it's showing. No, now. It, oh, yeah, yeah. Just flip with the thing. Oh, wait, no, can you? Oh. And, oh. No, you can't. Wait. All right, hey, it's Brian Brushwood. Uh, uh, this is me, Justin Robert Young. Thank you for uh, getting me on cameo. Uh, uh, I, I I see here that it's a very <laughs> special time in your life. Uh, uh, I, I I think that your bar mitzvah. 
is going to be a very challenging time for you, but I believe you can get through it. You've asked me to do a push-up. <laughs> hold on and face it down, because I'm going to do a push-up. Oh, my God. He's getting, he's, there, he's getting on the go. floor. There, here okay. we go. <laughs> yeah! Wow. One, oh, one two, two, three, three four, oh five, six, seven, eight. eight. Wow. Yay! Thank you so much, hey, Justin. Right. That's so very ends up in the wash. Wow. Oh, wait, well, I'm sure I'm sure whoever that Brian Brushwood is, they're going to really yeah. enjoy that request. Thank you All for right. the $30. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, what did we learn this year, Brian? Uh, we learned that uh, Cameo takes a $5 VIG. They do. They do. Uh, oh, but uh, 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 Don't worry. When you get cameos from Brian Brushwood on my account... <laughs> I'll take the other 30. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, uh, we learned that, uh, uh, boy, people did love that Gabby Patino story, huh? Yeah. 20% uh, of the top 10 couldn't get enough. No. Uh, uh, we learned that... Uh, 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 Nobody cares about COVID. People fuck on the stairs in Bridgerton. That's right. Uh, we learned uh, uh, that there's some great fried chicken. We're the singing gentlemen. Yep. <laughs> and we we learned that we learned that uh, Justin can do damn push-ups. Mm, boy. Yes, Brian. Eight if, of them. If, if 2021, a show that saw this podcast be bored, yes. yeah, has taught us anything. It's it's been a great night. Mm -hmm. ah, still a great night. Shine on, you crazy diamonds. <laughs> Survive. No, there's never been a greater night, a single bed, a later night, a pause, the masturbation night, a let's get drunk and laugh tonight. There's never been a greater, greater night. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>